Hey, hey guys. guys, it's Vanessa and Marco here. And today we're going to talk about training. In this video, we want to share a few of our insights towards our philosophy towards training. And we're just going to dive right in. We're fans of being very efficient and effective in the gym. And so we just want to pass along some of those general insights that are extremely valuable. For each one of these, we could dig in a lot deeper, maybe in future videos, but for today, we want to keep it bird's eye view. So with that being said, point number one is about time under tension. So you often hear about other training parameters, like how many sets do I do? How many repetitions do you do at a time? How much rest do you take in between each exercise? Things like that. Those are all like workout parameters, training parameters. One parameter that is often underemphasized is time under tension. And when you accumulate time under tension, you end up building more lean muscle tissue, which helps burn fat a lot easier and just gives you a much more athletic physique in a lot more of an efficient manner. Point number two is functional training. So we're fans of involving ourselves with exercises that are inherently functional, that represent natural movement patterns. So Vanessa likes to do squats, hip thrusters. For me, I like to revolve my training around, of, around functional patterns like pull-up patterns, chin-ups, uh, push-up patterns, uh, functional core exercises, squats, deadlifts, trap bar deadlifts, etc. If you're only doing machine training, what'll happen is you'll strengthen a lot of the prime movers in your body, like the main muscle groups, but the machines don't really put a real world stress on your joints, which sounds like a good thing in the near term, but in the long term, your joints and small intrinsic muscles near the joints won't be as developed so they're going to be underdeveloped compared to your prime movers and then in the real world you're more likely to get injured because the big muscles that move your body through space very effectively they're strong but then the small muscles that stabilize your joints aren't going to be up to par and then that's how people get injured and this is especially important if you play any kind of sports any kind of recreational activity this, this becomes extraordinarily important for you. Even if you don't have any athletic activities that you're involved in, these things are still important because if you only train with machines, then you know that's how people might throw their back out when they're shoveling snow or you know bend over to grab something and then they tweak something in their back or their knee doesn't seem to function properly and stuff like that. So if you're only training with machines, you're more likely to have some kind of pains or dysfunctions. With that being said, that summarizes a little bird's eye view of a few points within yeah. training that we keep in mind at all times. And yeah, we just wanted to share that with you guys, so. <laughs> Talk to you in the next video. Bye.